that's what I love about um, you and Abigail and, and the way that you guys run your business is it's the same as myself. It is, let's look at the spiritual laws that we believe in. This is the deep dive with Adam Roa. Let's look at the understanding of energetics that apply to emotion, that apply to sex, that apply to money, that like, let's look at these things with that foundational understanding. And then like Legos, let's build it from that space. And I think that when it comes to money in particular, people throw all of their energetic understanding out the window and, and think that somehow they got to go into the, the old models or, or whatever when it comes to money in particular, which is really an interesting space to be. But I want to acknowledge you and Abigail because when we've had our conversations about um, the sandboxes that we're going to play in together, that, that those conversations, the ease of those conversations has centered around, we, 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 it's all the energetics. The energetics of money, what I want people to really get from this, if you want more money, it is more valuable for, in my opinion, for you to understand the energetics of money than to understand the funnels and the different things for how to make it. Because then you, you're just going to have to replicate those funnels every single time instead of being able to take the energetics, which you can apply to every area of your life because this is all energy. Totally. So, yeah, on, on that, we'd made half a million dollars before we'd spent any money on marketing. I just want to say that out loud. Limitless Love had made a half a million dollars, like $530,000 before we spent any money on marketing. We'd done photo shoots, but nothing else. That was it, right? Because the organics of, 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 and the energetics of, of, of building relation and connection with people far outweighed you know, because then there were so many of my friends that were kind of starting at a similar point, like, oh, I need to have the website. I need to have this. And it's sourcing everything outside of yourself for your success. And what happens is we're in, in a space right now where, where a lot of what's on social media and Facebook ads are telling you, you need this, you need that, you need a website, you need that to, to succeed. And I'm sitting there going, uh, no, you don't. Uh, uh, we, we, we literally, and this is, this is, this is, it's gone to the point where actually I'm like, we probably need a website, but we still, we, we've made, multiple seven figures in the last two and a half years, right? We still don't have a website. Now, for now, I would say, you know, from, from, a, from a business standpoint, we probably should get a website pretty soon. But I'm not rushing to get it. I'm like, yeah, it'll happen when it's meant to happen. The person will come into our vortex and like, yeah, now is the time. But I could confidently say to you that I would make, you know, multiple seven figures in the next 12 months without a website. And there's no need, or Facebook ads or any of that kind of stuff. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't need that because the energetics are so much more potent. It is, it's less about the, the quote unquote structures that we think we need. It's more about what, who we, what vibration are you allowing yourself to hold? <laughs>